Hi, Flesto. It's Kathleen with Trot and Trail. Happy December. Happy Thanksgiving. I hope you had a good one. Um, we did. It was a <laughs> it was a mixed bag. I uh, I have decided that extended family is tough, and I'm not a hundred percent. 100% sure I want to spend every Thanksgiving with uh, with our family, extended family. Love my kids, love my husband. That's great fun. We enjoy the same kinds of things. We like to play games and go to the movies and eat lots of yummy food um, and cook and bake and all of that fun stuff. But um, we had some extended family visiting this year and they were... I don't know. It was a little rough, but anyway, I'm kind of glad it's over. For Thanksgiving, it will just be all of my children, so my oldest daughter and her boyfriend will be home, and I'm very excited about that. Did I say for Thanksgiving? I meant for Christmas this year. I'm I'm kind of kind of flaking today. Anyway, um, so I'm looking forward to that, and I've kind of changed where I'm videoing from um, in front of one of my three Christmas trees. So this is my blue, silver, and white Christmas tree um, that we put up in the front room. And this tree stays up through mid-February. Uh, in January, we decorate it with anything related to snow. Um, and it doesn't have to be blue, white, or silver. And then in February, I'll decorate it for Valentine's Day. And then we'll take it down. And uh, then across the way in the front entryway, I have a tree that has colored lights on it. And every ornament that I've ever made, every ornament that any of my children have ever made, any ornament that's been given to us um, or that we've purchased that's not blue, white, or silver, um, it's just kind of a mixed bag, um, and I, I love it. It's a nine, I think it's a nine-foot tree. It only fits in one spot in our house, in the front entryway where the steps, the ceilings are open because the steps go up to the upstairs. And then in the very, in the family room, I have this year a white, a four foot, I think it is, white tree that has flamingos on it. Um, several years ago, I have a, a dear friend who lives next door and a dear friend who lives up the street. And many years ago, when our young children were all in school together, we raised money for Booster Club by flocking people. And what that means is that we... We had, I think, 50 or 60 flamingos, yard flamingos, the really, well, I won't say the ugly ones, but they were kind of ugly. And um, people would pay us to flock their friends for their birthdays or to flock somebody for an anniversary or to celebrate some special occasion. And then, um, and that money all went to Booster Club. And then the families who were flocked would pay us to be unflocked to get the flamingos out of their yards so if they wanted to they didn't have to but they could make a donation and we'd come pick up the flamingos um, and so um, we started exchanging flamingo ornaments every year between the three of us and so I have accumulated a lot of flamingo ornaments and they're you know pink flamingos with in various Christmas whatever so a lot of pink red green that kind of thing so this year um, my youngest daughter and my niece who was staying with us over the Thanksgiving holiday, who isn't one of the extended family members I was mentioning earlier. Um, we went to, we decorated for Christmas and on Saturday after Thanksgiving, and then we went to Hobby Lobby and we bought this little white Christmas tree because we thought the flamingos would look really cute on the white Christmas tree. And they do. And, and I'm, I'm super pleased with it. Um, maybe one of these days I'll show that to you, but anyway, um, I, 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 we're all decked out. We, um, we spend pretty much Thanksgiving weekend decorating for Christmas and, um, kind of my segue here. Um, I have had many collections over the years, but the current thing that I collect for Christmas is nativity sets. And I have nativity sets from, that my daughter brought back from Hong Kong. I have, um, a nativity that she gave me from Panama. I have um, just a variety of just really, really lovely nativities. And 
Um, several years ago, another dear friend and I, who always exchange Christmas, I made her a nativity, a, a cross stitch, just a little nativity cross stitch pillow. And it became a tradition that every year I make her a nativity. And so cross stitch nativity. And so this year um, for her, I am working on Wise Men Still Seek Him. It's a Lizzie Kate. And it has like three colors in it, three or four colors, very very sweet. I love it. Little angel, little baby Jesus. Um, the crowns just think that's just, I love this one. Um, I feel like I say that about everything that I'm working on. I don't know. It, I, I do cause I don't do things I don't like, but anyway, so this is where I am with it. It's, um, cute. I, I think this is Krynik that I used for that star and I was happy with that. And um, so yeah, there it is. Wise men still see Kim and, um, I need to get that done. We probably won't exchange gifts until maybe the week in between Christmas and New Year. So I'm not in a super time crunch to get that done and I don't have that much more. Oh my goodness. These Lizzie Kate's, they're just such quick stitches. Um, so anyway, that's what I'm working on for her. I had mentioned last time about the 2016 um, special holiday issue of Just Cross Stitch and then I had chosen 12 ornaments to make for friends and I've I have come I've woken up people I have come to the realization that that is not going to get done <sighs> it just kills me I need to start this kind of stuff like like in January but however I, I am I am um, going to do three of them and and I'm just it, whatever it takes these three will get done so I had mentioned the one that I wanted to make for my friend who owns the rug cooking store um, very primitive oh, let's see if I can find it again very primitive um, the little buildings uh, the little I just love the Santa and the reindeer flying over and it says friends are Christmas treasures I just, I think she'll love this I, I really do I really think she will and so I have started it and I have one little building done ah, sorry 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 one little building done and um, it's stitching up very quickly I'm using some I think this is 32 count linen from 123 stitch I I purchased it for something else and it was I, I ordered the wrong stuff and so um, I'm trying to use it up. I bought a yard of it, so I'm trying to use it up. It's nice. I, I like it. And then, the, of course, McKenna's little needle minder from Sincere Stitches. I love the little owl with the little Christmas hat. Just absolutely adorable. Love all her needle minders. Um, if you haven't looked at those, I'm sure you all have, but they're awesome. The other thing I'm going to do for... So that's for, for that dear friend. And then... Another sweet friend, a while back I was watching one of Vanna's videos and she talked about an older friend who she's just had forever and just treasures. And um, I have a, a friend who's 80, going I think going to be maybe like 83 or 84 this summer. You would not know that by looking at her. She looks like maybe 65 um, and she's full of energy and just gets around and I, I hope I can be like her and, um, someday and we are having lunch next Wednesday and she will be she will be ticked at me for making her something for Christmas but I don't care um, my mom has been gone for a while so she's kind of like a mom to me um, anyway I am stitching up just a, a quick little Santa. I should show you first. It's actually the one on the cover. This 2016 little Santa carrying the tree. And um, Sandy is in her 80s, but she is not a primitive person at all. And I didn't think that was super primi primitive. Um, I actually made her for her 80th birthday a huge hearth rug. One of these days I'll show a picture. If I think about it, I'll insert a picture at the end of the video. Um, she just loved it, and she loves anything I do for her. And so, anyway, here's Santa. Uh, sorry. Um, he's very cute. I struggle with white. I don't know, you guys. My my stitching on my white, I'm not happy with that. But, oh well, it is what it is, and I'm just going to be happy with it and 
you know, it's going to, I need to have this, this done by next Wednesday. And I'll probably just do, um, I call them Vana pillows. And by the way, Vana, um, the Twisted Stitcher has a new video out, um, just tutorial, a little tutorial, tutorial? tutorial on doing just little ornament pillows or pin cushions, whatever. And oh, so excellent. And I've said this, I tell my friends this all the time. I do all of my own finishing and I finish for a few friends. And I always tell people, Vana's videos, her floss stitch and her blog has changed my life. And I, I mean that. I mean, when I look at the stuff I put together and the finishing I did of, of little pillows and ornaments that I did before I saw Vana's videos, uh, I, it's, it's terrible. Um, anyway, it's all about, I don't even remember what she calls it, but lofting, lofting your batting and, and, um, and stuffing and squared off corners. And I, I don't know, it just makes all the difference in the world. So this will be finished just as a little, Sandy no longer puts a Christmas tree up, but, um, but this will just be a little, maybe just an ornament to go in a bowl or, you know, something. Maybe I can find a cute little Christmas bowl for her, or just something to, to give her and I'll finish it. Um, again, I've watched Vanna's latest tutorial and I'll probably watch it six more times cause it's fantastic. Um, so that being said, and kind of off the think off the Christmas thing for just a minute. I do finishing for a few friends around here. Um, I don't charge for it. I'm not that good. I'm not. And it, and it's just here and there. Um, but I have several friends who don't sew and I do sew and, and such. And so I had a friend who finished several really, really super cute Thanksgiving little cross stitches. And she brought me another one. She's a rug hooking friend, but she also cross stitches. And she brought me another one last week. And um, I finished it up this morning and I just wanted to show it to you. So I did not stitch this. Um, my friend Colleen stitched this and then I just put it together in a little pillow, but blessings abound. I don't know what the pattern is. Um, it might be Plum Street samplers because she had several of those. And then um, I, I, I finished it using Vana's latest technique that she kind of to videoed. Um, and that is where the slit is actually in the back and then you stuff it from, you turn it here and you stuff it and you stitch this together. Worst stitching job of all time, you guys. I don't know if you can see, but you can see my freaking stitches. I, ah, I don't know what my problem is. I know how to sew and I know how to do a ladder stitch and in wool and I used silk thread on wool and the same color matching orange. You can see my stinking stitches. I don't know what I did. I, I, I need to redo that before I give this back to Colleen. But anyway, I, her Colleen's stitching is so lovely. And then this was the, oh, I used this on something else. Now I'm trying to think the fabric. Anyway, I just thought that worked really well with that little, that little pillow and Colleen can put it in her little Thanksgiving blessings bowl next year. So I thought that was really cute. Okay, you guys, I'm ba I'm back to my thing. We still haven't figured out how to do longer than 15 minute videos and I'm at 1332 and I still have a whole bunch of stuff. So what I'm going to do is show you one more thing and then I'm going to end and then I'm going to make another 15 minute video and I'm sorry, but it's the only way we can figure out how to do it. Um, so let's see what, what, what shall I talk about? Let me look at my notes here. Um, okay. Um, Harry Potter, giant Harry Potter. So I mentioned that I was doing giant Harry Potter for my son. It is going to be a Christmas present, but I'm not going to be able to give it to him until I finish it, which will hopefully be before he goes off to college. And this is done on 28 count Laguna camo hand dyed by Stephanie, hand dyed fabrics by Stephanie. This fabric is phenomenal. Anyway, I got Harry done. And <laughs> the funny thing about this and a little bit of a start on Ron, the funny thing about this is that that was my goal is to get Harry done so that I could wrap this up and give it to Ryan for Christmas. And then I'll tell him that, um, 
you know, I'll finish it before he goes off to college. So, oh, and another cute, stinking cute needle minder from Miss McKenna. So very, very cute. Okay, I'm going to end this. I'm at 1451. I'm going to end this and I'll catch you on the flip side in the next video.